there are so many good Japanese curry spots in Japan that it might be impossible to find the best one. There's so many different types, flavors, and spots to choose from. But what we do know is that there's two very well known and popular curry spots that are loved among locals, tourists, and curry fans like us. The first spot is Gogo Curry, one of my favorite Japanese curry spots. And the second one is a Koko Curry, uh, which is actually the most popular curry chain in the world. They've got restaurants all across uh, Asia and America, and it's um, yeah, definitely my favorite. Today's challenge isn't about finding the best curry spot, but it's getting your friend to try something new. My name is Ernest Chung. In this video, we're taking to the streets of Tokyo and we're going to get some delicious Japanese curry from both these places. I'm joined today by my good friend, Matt Baxter from Super Cheap Guides, coming all the way from the UK. Hey there, it's Matt back in Tokyo. Welcome back to Tokyo, man. Thanks very much. Uh, man, it's going to be a lot of curry today for lunch and dinner. I'm looking forward to it. And don't worry, you're in Japan now. It's so hot, you're going to lose the weight anyways. Yeah, maybe we can get some dessert as well. I can't see why not. What are you thinking of? A bit of kakigori? Sure, let's do it. Oh, the challenge. Dessert challenge. This debate has been going on for years between the both of us. So we're finally going to settle this. It's a showdown. Canadian versus British. I spent years trying to get Matt to try and go to curry. And after years of resisting, we're finally going to do this. The curry challenge here is we're going to go and try both of our favorite spots today. The challenge here for Matt is that he's finally going to go and have some go go curry. In exchange, we're you going to Kokoro again. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. It's a sacrifice and a small price I'm willing to pay because that's friendship. I'm willing to take the bullet and eat less delicious curry from Coco Curry just so you'll finally try some Coco Curry and to stop hating on it and to open up your world and to see what you've been missing out because that's the friend I am. You know what, Ernest, once you've found perfection, there's no point in changing. But I ask you, are you man enough to admit Coco is better? You know what? I am, but I think we should need to set some rules there. Okay, so here are the rules. We're gonna order full meals, there's gonna be no nitpicking, we're not gonna be stubborn about stuff, we're not gonna try to find faults. We're gonna be fair and neutral, open-minded and honest. Deal. I'm afraid the French and talk for today, curry is more important. Alright. So here we are outside the Gogo Curry in Shinagawa, right beside the ramen strip. On my last few trips to Tokyo, I would always come here as my last meal before I go to Haneda Airport to end my trip on a high note. So let's get started. I know I'm excited. How about you, Matt? You ready for some of the best curry ever? Yeah, it's not really looking forward to it. It's, it looks so disgusting. Yeah. All right, well, let's try it out. I mean, we made a deal, right? Yeah, we made a deal. All right. What are you going to get? Uh, I don't know, any recommendations? Well, the thing about Gogo is that they have so many different sizes, but I always go for the, the simple. You can always try the huge, super special, that has everything. Oh gosh. Uh, I'll go for the classic as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for the classic. It's gonna be an exciting day. I'm happy for you, man. You're finally gonna try some Gogo curry. Yeah, man, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm British. I know my curries. All our other food might be terrible, but we know our curries. So you've never had Gogo curry before. How long were you living in Japan? I lived in Japan for five years. So just for some context for you guys, he's lived in Japan for five years, started a travel blog, written three books with a new one coming out, and he's never had Coco Curry. See, the thing is, the first meal I ever had in Japan was uh, Coco Curry, two o'clock in the morning, and it was hygienic. So, you know, I've made my allegiances, and I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> so I'm just about to try it for the first time, I feel it might be my last time. Okay, let's capture this auspicious and historical moment. 
Well, what do you think? How is it? It's good. Nice. Not for cookers. Well, I'm satisfied and full. Look, I know you love cocoa and this will probably not replace it, but what do you think? Would you recommend it to people? Would you come back to Bobo Curry? I mean, it's good, but it's not something I would crave. You know, if I was just in a town and I couldn't find anywhere, I would go to Gogo, but I wouldn't have a crave for it. Uh, fair enough. Thank you for the assessment. We appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, so we're at Kokoichi in uh, Kodimachi, uh, so where I always come when I'm feeling stressed, need some energy. Or uh, yeah, just um, have that feeling for a bit of Kokoichi. Um, so it's a pretty good menu, uh, lots of um, salads, you've got uh, some posh chicken katsus, uh, you've got spicy ones, so many different varieties, and then you choose the spiciness and your uh, size as well. This guy's really trying to sell me cocoa curry here. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Are you excited? I'm all right, but is it too late to back out? No, we had a deal. It's time to pay up. How about this? I'll give you a thousand yen. We'll call it even. Just say I ate it and we'll stop filming. I'm not interested in your money. You're going to eat it. So what are you going to get? I don't know. What do you recommend? Um, for my favorite one is chicken katsu curry. Uh, but so probably the most popular is a pork katsu curry. And then what about the cheese option over here? Uh, it's always good to get cheese on. Uh, you've got loads of stuff. You've got uh, tomato, spinach, uh, any, anything you can think of, yeah. Uh, I don't know. You are British. I don't know if I can trust you when it comes to food. You might steer me in the wrong direction. I might have to go the opposite what you suggest. So you've had kokoechi before, right? Yeah, I've had it before. And how long ago was that? It was a few years ago. Back on one of my trips, I was in Okayama looking for a late lunch. And I remember you were telling me about it. Maybe you hyped it up too much. I just remember it being all right. I wasn't left feeling satisfied, like I had to go back to Coco Curry. Well, I will say it, it is pretty nice. It does feel like an actual restaurant. We have a table yeah. we're sitting at. There's actual menu. Mm. And Coco Curry was more of a counter kind of experience. Yeah, it's more kind of quickly in and out, kind of salary man experience you get from like Matsuya or Yoshinoya or something. So I feel I made a pretty big sacrifice by going to Coco Curry. Um, yeah. Now you're ready to try real curry. Um, how do you feel? I don't know. It's looking pretty watery for me. Well, that's what curry's like. Uh, don't you think it smells pretty amazing as well? It's all right. Mm. It's all right. Oh, by the way, look what I found. Dirty spoon. That's Hi. nitpicking. You're breaking the rules. That's how you eat curry. Hi. Here I am at Koko Curry in Kojimachi, about to have my first bite of curry here. Let's capture a special moment. I want to see your face light up. All right, here goes. It's all right. I think I think Bobo Curry is still my number one. I think the katsu is better though than Gogo Curry. It tastes pretty good over here, but the curry mm, it doesn't have a strong curry flavor for me. But I do taste the spiciness. So satisfied? Yeah, it's so good. There you have it. We finally settled it. Thank you for being in the video again, Matt, and trying my favorite curry spot. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, lots of fun. Uh, it was good to go for a curry. Follow Matt at Super Cheap Guides and check out his next book about traveling in New Zealand. It's coming soon. By the way, I can get a copy of that book for free, right? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Thanks. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Follow Ernest's journey and consider subscribing for more high quality content on Tokyo and his life in Japan. I'm a content creator myself, so I know how much work and effort it takes to make uh, these kind of videos. Oh, thanks man, appreciate that. And if you're interested in traveling to Japan and my guidebooks, uh, please check out our previous video. Uh, it has a little Easter egg as well. Oh yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching that video. I got a lot of great feed feedback from you guys. Many of you guys said you enjoyed it, so that's why we had to get together and do another video. Comment down below and tell us what do you guys like more, gogo curry or coco curry? 
or tell us your other favorite curry spot in Japan. Thanks for watching, and with that, stay hungry, stay adventurous. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. So if you liked, um, <laughs> Comment down below, tell us what your... <laughs> Comment down below and tell us what do you guys like more, gogo -go curry or coco curry? Or tell us your other favorite curry restaurant. In Japan. In Japan.